Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to be going over user login and registration using Apple Authentication. So let's get started. First we'll want to install Expo Apple Authentication, so I'm going to do that. I'll go back into my project here and open a new terminal and we'll just paste that in. And while that's installing, I'm going to go to my constants file and I'm going to add a new endpoint here called Apple and it will be the user endpoint plus slash Apple and then we'll go to our user service here and we'll create a new function called Apple login or register and it will be an asynchronous function and we'll wrap everything in a try catch block we'll handle the error if there is one otherwise we're going to get the data from our apple endpoint and the type is going to be data res and we need to await that so axios.post endpoints.apple and for Apple they actually have an identity token so it's not an access token so we'll say identity token here and we need to pass that in so identity token which is going to be a string okay so with that done uh, we will say if data exists we would like to return it. Otherwise, we will return null. Now let's go to our sign up screen. And let's go back here and import star or everything as Apple Authentication from expo apple authentication. We'll copy that and post paste that into our project. Now let's create an Apple register mutation. So we'll just say uh, const Apple register is equal to use mutation and it's going to take an asynchronous function. And then down here we'll say or Apple register dot is loading. So within this function we need to get the identity token and how you do that is you call the sign in async method from Apple Authentication and you pass in an object with a property requested scopes and you need to specify that you want the email and full name. And if identity token exists, I'm gonna log it to the console and then we need to await logging in the user or registering the user. And if that is successful, we'd like to log in and then call navigation.goback. And here I'm going to import Apple login or register from our services. Now I'm going to go to the bottom here. And down here I just need to call Apple register.mutate. All right. Now let's check it out. Let's go to our console here. And we are going to sign up with Apple. And we're going to get an error because our server's not running, but we did get a token here. So I'm going to copy that, go to jwt.io, and paste it in here. And from this, we can get the user's email. And we also have a key ID here. So we are going to validate this token by going to appleid.apple.com and then slash auth slash keys. Let's refresh this. And I believe it is, it has the key ID of FH6BS8C. So this right here. So we're gonna use a library in Go, which pretty much sees if there's a key in here. Well, a key ID that matches the one that we have here. 
and in this case this is valid so that means that the token is valid so that's how that's going to work on the back end uh, let's just finish up implementing this for our sign-in screen and then we can get to work on that so we'll just copy this over we'll copy this over as well import this say or apple uh, let's change it to say login here apple login that is loading and then we'll go down to the bottom here and change this to say apple login dot mutate okay looks good let's get rid of this uh, logging to the console and now let's go to our back end and start building this thing out so here we will create a function underneath our google login or sign up we'll create apple login or sign up it's so a func apple login or sign up and I am in my user.go file. It's going to take an iris context. And let's create a new type down below, or a new data structure. Uh, yeah, let's just copy what we have for Facebook or Google user input and paste it beneath that. And we'll call it Apple user input. And it's going to say identity token identity token and here identity token and it's going to be required so all that stuff's good and the first thing that we'll do is make sure that the passed in body of the request is valid so let's do that and then we need to make it call to that apple endpoint that i was referencing earlier and if there's an error we'll just send the user that we got an internal server error if there's not an error, we need to read the body of the response. And if we get an error during that, we'll send an internal server error as well. And at this point, we need to get a new module or package. And this is called keyfunk. And pretty much, let's just go here and do go get for this. So that's going to be github.com slash micaparks slash keyfunk. So say go get and then we'll add another module which is going to be called JWT from Golang JWT so I'm going to copy this so I will just paste that here and get that okay now let's import both of those into our project And back in our Apple login or signup function, we're going to be using that key funk module to see if our token is valid. So we'll call keyfunk.newjson and pass in the body. And then from there, we can parse the JWT first by passing in the identity token. And then next, we'll pass in our key funk. Now, if we get an error during this, we will just send the user an internal server error. Now, if the token is not valid, we'll send to the user that we got an unauthorized status and they have an invalid user token. If we get to this point, it means that it's the token is valid and we need to get the email. So we'll do that. Let's import FMT here. And we'll create an if statement stating that if the email is not an empty string, then we can either log in the user or create the user. 
So we'll create a new user variable and see if the user exists already. If the user doesn't exist, we can register the user, but we just need to pass in that they don't have a first name or last name. And we'll pass in the email that we got. Social login is true and social provider is Apple. Otherwise, if the user does exist and the social provider is Apple, then we need to log the user in. So we'll just send them back their ID, first name, last name, and email. And these are both gonna be empty strings, but whatever. And if we get to this point, it means that the email's already registered and they didn't use Apple. So we'll send them that the email was already registered. Now let's go back to our main file and hook up this endpoint. So say user.post Apple and then routes .apple login or sign up. Now let's run this baby. We'll clear this, go run, main.go. So there you can see it's registered now. So we'll go to our sign up screen and sign up with Apple. We'll continue. And there we go, we're logged in. Let's sign out. And we can sign in now too as well. We'll hit that same endpoint and we're signed in again. So that's how you do it guys. I hope that you guys found this video useful and thank you for watching.